I'd like to welcome the children to come forward at this point. <laughs> and for those watching online too, if you'll join me up here. Well, good morning. Good morning. Oh, good. Atlas is making it up here too. Well, good morning. My name is David, and I'm the Minister of Faith Formation, if you don't know who I am. And uh, welcome to you guys and everyone watching online. Have you ever had people compare you to somebody else? Has that ever happened to you? Yeah. Yeah? I know when I was younger, I got compared to my brothers a lot. They were both older than I was. And, uh, you know, you get compared to friends. That kind of happens when people don't know you very well, right? They might compare you to somebody else. Who have you been compared to? Cooper? One of my friends. Your friends? Went to school. I hadn't seen one of my friends for a long time. And then she called me Blair, another student at the Lux of Burnett Center because she got confused. Got confused. Hadn't seen you for a while. Anybody else have somebody that they've uh, been compared to? Maybe another sibling? Some I friends? Who? My brother. You've been compared to your brother? Well, you know what? Jesus one time, he was sitting with his disciples and he said to them, who do the people say that I am? And because the people didn't always get who Jesus was because of his teaching and the miracles that he did, um, they, they basically told Jesus, well, they compare you to like the prophets, Elijah, one of the great prophets or one of the other prophets. And some of the people even compare you to John the Baptist who was Jesus' cousin. So he's being compared to his cousin, John. Um, but then Jesus wants to make it a little bit more direct. So he says to the disciples, but who do you say that I am? Because they've been with him for three years. They've been hanging out with him. Hi, Atlas. <laughs> and so you're going to climb up here, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, and so the disciples... Um, Basically, they must have had a little bit of a panic. Now they've got to not compare Jesus to somebody, but actually say who he is. And Peter, who's one of the really bold disciples, he speaks up and he says, you're the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus says to him, God has revealed this to you, Peter. This didn't come by people. This came through God. Well, Peter's confession is one of the important confessions in, in the scriptures. Uh, and the first time that Jesus is called by his followers, the Messiah. Do you know what Messiah means? Anybody? Kind of God. Kind of God. It's, it's the same word in Hebrew that we use for Christ, which is a Greek word. But in English, basically, uh, Messiah or Christ means the anointed one. Somebody chosen by God, and that's Peter's confession. You are the Messiah, the one we've been waiting for. You are the son of the living God. Well, today, we're also going to hear a confession of faith, but it's going to come from Elise. Elise is going to affirm her baptism. She was baptized when she was younger and did not fully understand Jesus. Not that she does today, but she comes to a fuller understanding of where she will basically own her baptism, um, by affirming that and affirming her faith and sharing her faith statement with us. So in a sense, Elise is being Peter today. She's going to tell us who she believes Jesus to be in her life. And we get to listen to that and, and also think to ourselves, who do we say Jesus is? And we say that not just by the words that come out of our mouth, but sometimes by the very things we do. Think about it this way. When you basically stop and pray, you're saying who Jesus is, somebody who will listen to you. When you confess our sins like we did beforehand, we are basically saying we trust you to forgive us, God. All the things that we say and do help us to basically say who we think Jesus is. So one day, Atlas because I remember your baptism. <laughs> One day, Atlas will be able to stand up in front of everyone and also say who Jesus is in his world, as Elise will do today. 
let's, uh, let's pray. Would you guys uh, close your eyes and bow your heads and we'll pray to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us to see who you are and for helping us trust in you and your love for us. Today we celebrate that Elise is sharing her faith in you and we all get to be reminded that you are our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, Son of the living God. And all God's children said, Amen. Thanks for coming up and you're, you're going to get to watch Elise's affirmation later. Thanks, Atlas. Thank you. <laughs> You didn't get to tell 